Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and um, welcome to part 3 of what if Naruto was the Tsutsu God reincarnation or whatever the hell the title is, I don't even know myself. I've got a special guest here with me today, he's looking at me like I just lost the plot. Other than that, I'm going to let him do the intro. Hello guys, it's Igor here. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment down below and give my boy, come on, give me, give him news. <laughs> <laughs> it's waffling now. Let me just, let me just. Keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. Right. Okay, guys, it's a take two. I took away his phone. He can't read what he's wrote down to say. He's wonging it. Hello, guys, it's Eagle here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below and enjoy the video. <laughs> well done. Fuck me. <laughs> that was so hard. Why was that hard? <laughs> Other than that, guys, let's get straight into the video. Last time we left off, Naruto clapped up Zabuza. I want it. I feel like my mic's a bit too low. Last time we left off, Naruto clapped up Zabuza, ran it. And with that, yeah, my act's really low. One second. This should be a bit better now, guys. Maybe I turn it down just a smudge. There you go. But, yeah. And he even absorbed Haku's ash release. He did this not by accident. He didn't mean to kill Haku while doing it. And due to Naruto also taking out somewhat of a devil chakra from Zabuza, Zabuza surrendered. He finally felt all the guilt for all the murderous and crimes he committed in the past. And yeah, now we're pretty all catch up, caught up. We get back to the Leaf Village where Minato congratulates Naruto for not only easily breezing through their first mission, protecting their teammates' lives, and even captured one of the legendary ninja swordsmen, who's been a big enemy to the Lee village. That is when Nebuko says, ne Nebuko says to Naruto, Naruto, it ain't, it ain't my business. But that Zabuza man, he truly has changed. He wants to make good with the world, and to be fair, I have a feeling he's been hiding his abilities. Why don't you ask his... Forgive, not forgiveness, but his punishment is to teach you how to use the sword. And this Naruto pipes up and says, uh, Dad, I mean, Hokage, sorry, I forgot I meant to call you Hokage when others are there. Can Zabuza be not freed of all crimes? Here in this, Zabuza looks down a bit, thinking that Naruto might have defended him in some way. He says, instead of pretending he didn't commit the horrendous crimes he did, how about you... Let him teach me the, how to use that sword as a punishment. And I'll be honest, I was just, Naruto starts talking shit, the bullshit, and he says, I'll be honest, when I was fighting him, I found a seal on the back of his neck, and after inspecting it, it was a manipulation seal, not full mind control, but it fueled his mind, body, and soul with murderous intent, murderous thoughts. So, I'd say he's halfly innocent. So, that should be half the crime. Then again, he surrendered. That's another half of his crimes. And Naruto kept them coming up with ways to half the crime again and again, and Minato realised he isn't going to win with Naruto. And he says, fine, Zabuza can teach you in the way of the sword. Hearing this, Zabuza's face lights up a little bit, but then he remembers his crimes and puts his head down. Naruto walks over to him and lifts his head up. Zabuza actually believed Naruto about the soul, because Naruto couldn't just tell him he had a demonic power, could he? And he says, listen, you did what you did and you can't change it, but you didn't choose to do it. So think about this as your redemption arc. And he flicks up his head, knocking him out. He asks everyone to leave so he can talk to his dad. He says, Dad, if I know you're thinking about doing the tuning exam soon. One, you promised me to be a Jonin soon. I always, but I still want to take part in them. I think that should be my test to be a Jonin. At least that way no one can take his favouritism. And also, if I pass it, if I pass it with ease, well, not with ease, but if I come first place in everything, I want you to go take a week off and, do, and go on a little break with me. Naruto does not intend to actually spend father and son time. He wants to give his dad back his memories. Minato, after a few seconds of considering, agrees. 
Then Kakashi announces to them that they're tuning his arms, and Naruto says, yes, I know. He breathes Sasuke and Sakura on it, and they say, okay, we'll see you there. They now have a week to train, and at that time, Naruto pulls up on Jiraiya, using Neb- Nebuko, who t- was telling him where he was, and says, you, train, now. At first, Jiraiya says, what, who do you think you're talking to? Then Naruto explains who he is, and Jiraiya says, oh, you're my godson. It's nice to finally see you again, Naruto. And then he Jiraiya seeing uh, Zabuza next to him says, wait, no, that's Zabuza. And he gets into a fighting stance and pulls Naruto away, trying to protect him. Naruto grabs Jiraiya by his hand, chucks him backwards, and says, no. And he explains the situation. And Jiraiya says, oh, you have my sympathy, Zabuza. I never thought I'd say that, but committing all, all the murders against your will must have been traumatizing. I apologize for my previous actions. Zabuza insists it's okay, as he was just trying to protect Naruto, what can be expected. And then Naruto also explains to Jiraiya that Zabuza is going to teach him the way of the sword, and he wants Jiraiya to teach him some unknown techniques. Jiraiya says, okay, I can't teach you unknown techniques, but if you have any choices you're preparing on your own, I could help you. Nebuko immediately screams in Naruto's ear, yes, yes, yes. There's some jutsu that I can teach you, but you have to master on your own. With this man's help, you should be able to do it perfectly. Naruto's eyes light up and says, Yes, immediately. Please, please, please. He this Jiraiya laughs and says, How long do we have? A week. Jiraiya says to him, I don't expect to learn any new jutsus, but you can learn the foundations if you're anything like your father. They go to a training field, and Nebuko says to Naruto, I want to help you master a technique you've already sort of used. It's what allowed me to know that you would be suitable to be my vessel, my reincarnation. And that is the void you used to kill that traitor, Kaguya. Well, not traitor. She did the right thing, but ended it in the wrong way. And he's like, what, you mean my void? That was something that took up all my chakra. And Naruto says, and Nebuko says, yes, it was an incomplete version. That was one of my original techniques, and you somehow mastered it on your own, came up with it on your own. It's like this was our destiny. But now being my reincarnation and me teaching you the proper way to use it, that that technique is going to become your most valuable jutsu, even compared to the others I shall teach you. He transfers the principles of the jutsu to Naruto's mind. Naruto could already do it, but he couldn't do it if I, he did it the wrong way where it would drain his chakra. And that's because he was doing the steps backwards, not backwards, but he was mixing up some of them. Now knowing the perfect way, he puts his hand out and he says, Void. No hand signs. And the black energy, almost like it is as black as black, it's the blackest black you can imagine, appears in his hand. Jiraiya seeing it, his eyes light up saying, so you created this jutsu, incredible. I can feel it drawing in the nature energy from around me. Jiraiya says, oh yes, you surely don't know what nature energy is. Basically, it's Naruto says, no, 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 I know what nature energy is. I've also found in a scroll about sage mode and I've got a pretty decent grasp on it. Here in this trial laughs and says, sure you do, kid. That's when he looks at Naruto, just to see Naruto's eyes go into sage mode. Naruto laughs and says, I can only hold it for about 30 seconds, though. And he quickly deactivates it. Jiraiya seeing this, his draw drops. What type of prodigy are you? Sage mode learning on your own, and this new technique. Incredible. He asked Naruto what's the principle of it. And Naruto said, well, every single time I fought someone, they always wanted to use their flashiest attack, and it always annoyed me. So I thought, why not create something that would just destroy their flashiest attack? And Jiraiya's curious about this, and Naruto says, okay, shoot a fireball at me. Jiraiya, Jiraiya tries to Naruto, agrees. Naruto lifts up the void, and it grows inside slightly, and it absorbs the entire fireball. And Naruto feels the heat course through his veins, as it strengthens his body. Nebuko says, you figured it out, haven't you? This technique is as powerful as it is, as... Whatever it absorbs directly gets imbued into your body. And it might not sound like a lot now, but trust me, it is. Seeing this Jiraiya immediately demands to learn the Jutsu. And Naruto of course passes on basic principles of it. As Nebuko said that Jiraiya wouldn't be able to do it, underestimating Jiraiya. Jiraiya copies it, and he creates a tiniest little void. This shocks Neb- uh, Neb- Nebuko and says, in- in- Incredible! But of course this strange dry about 98% of his chakra and he drops down. He restores it using set, uh, nature energy and he stands back up and says, Jesus kid, that 
was incredible. How could you have so much chakra? Now I said it isn't about chakra, it's about figuring out the right, the right way to go, do it. It's different, it's different for everybody. This is a technique that hasn't just been a few days prep. I've, since I've first learned about the foundation of jutsu, I've been preparing it. Jura says, ah, oh, it explains it. Jura says, huh, how about creating it into a weapon? Here in this narrative says, in he said Nebuko, possible. Nebuko says, it's not a way I thought about using it, but it's an interesting theory. Naruto moulds the void, which actually starts draining the chakra, but as soon as he gets the hang of it, it stops. And when I mean drain, I mean it's like a serious drain, which Naruto doesn't normally feel. And he turns it into katana. And he's like, and he waves it about. Naruto can feel as he waves it, it's actually, like Jara said, it's absorbing nature energy. And as now he's holding the handle directly, that nature energy is flooding into Naruto. So as long as he has this sword activated, he has infinite chakra, basically. Nebuko says, yes, finally, part of the thing I wanted. Next, Nebuko says, Naruto, stab it into the ground. Naruto, of course, proceeds, and something amazing happens. But you'll have to wait till I decide to tell you. Now we go to the tuning exams. And Naruto figured out that his blade has an ability to change to whatever form he wants. But he'll save that move for later. Now it begins. The round is arm Naruto flies past it with ease. And unlike Canon, Sasuke and Sakura needed no help. And after they finish the writing test, they walk out just for Lee to challenge Naruto. Naruto seeing Lee smiles. And of Lee's challenging Naruto, Naruto says to him, on one condition, we gotta be friends afterwards. Here in this, Lee catches him off guard. As everyone knows about Lee, the kid he can't use chakra, and everyone normally laughs. Not Naruto. Just due to this, Lee says, it would be my honour. And the fight begins. Naruto not wanting to embarrass Lee, just overpowers him a little bit. Seeing this, Lee's impressed. He heard that the fall for Kage's son was strong, but he didn't think he'd be outclassed in Taijutsu yet this quickly. Lee and Kant speeds up as well. Naruto lets him get a blow on him, so everyone goes, wow, he landed a blow on the prodigy. And Naruto snaps his head forward again. And this time, with a full body rotation, slams his hat and a palm into Lee's chest. Then Lee fly back into the wall, creating a crater. Lee spits out a bit of blood and says, You're incredible. After this, we should train together. Naruto immediately agrees. He can see with his. He has his Shangan activated, of course. That's something normal. Everyone knows that Naruto keeps his Shangan activated when he wants to. Remember, watch the series that if you put previous series, if you want to know what that's about. And. He sees that Lee's about to activate that first gate, and he says, Lee, no, no eight, eight gates allowed, save it. He then just catches Lee off guard, and he stumbles and falls, and he goes, how, how did you know I was going to activate my first gate? And, he, and then Lee sees a Sharingan, and he says, I've heard rumours that once someone trains their doju their dojutsu to a certain point, they can actually see the eight gates. Incredible, so this is the level the fourth Fukage son is at. The narrator says, stop calling me the fourth Fukage son. I'm Naruto Uzumaki. Lee says, I apologise, Naruto Uzumaki. I'm Lee. I can't really use chakra, but you sort of knew that, didn't you? And Naruto says, yeah, of course. But after this after this next 10 seconds, I think we should continue to spar. In the tuning exams, Lee says, so you're saying I have 10 seconds to beat you? Naruto says, no, you have 10 seconds to survive. Naruto does hand signs on one hand and creates lightning chains. They wrap around Lee, freezing his body up, and he pulls him towards him. And he goes to throw a full power swing. Lee flinches and Naruto appears behind him, releasing the jutsu and tapping Lee on the neck, knocking him unconscious. We now go to the forest of death. The same Orochimaru stuff happens, but it's a lot creepier as he's a lot more interested in Naruto. The, the kid with a Byakugan, a Sharingan, this pale skin, insane chakra levels. And of course they get into the forest of death. Naruto easily claims his first scroll. And that's when the Orochimaru attacks. Unlike everyone else, Naruto isn't affected by the Genjutsu and Sasuke breaks out of it pretty quickly. He tells Sasuke to sit this one out as Naruto doesn't know how, but Orochimaru somehow got his grasp onto Naruto. And that's when it finally clicks. It touches illness! Naruto realises that he can actually heal or touch it before it's too late. But now he has to deal with Orochimaru first. Orochimaru lunges at Naruto 
And Naruto activating his Drogon slightly sees that Orochimaru has a similar energy to the dark power he's talking from Zabuza. But it's different. And no, Nebuko says yes, as there's the there's seven types of it, each coming with its own ability. The ability that you have makes someone get overloaded with murderous intent and try to kill them. But this one is interesting. You've already stolen one, you might as well steal the next. Naruto dodges and weaves and actually punches Orochimaru hard, leaving a real lasting effect as he uses Sage energy in the punch. Orochimaru feeling this recognises Naruto as a threat. Been able to use Sage energy at his age. Jiraiya must have taught him. But before he can react, Naruto, who had placed a flying Raja mark on Orochimaru, appears in front of him and punches him in the jaw. Then again, then again. He does hand signs and covers one fist in lightning and the other fist in foul. He doesn't need to do hand signs, but he doesn't draw away less attention. And he's throwing punch after punch after punch after punch. And Orochimaru is just laughing. Naruto deactivates his lightning in one hand. And without any hand signs, the far on his right hand flares into a blue flame. And this time Orochimaru screams. That flame is burning his very soul, and he runs. Naruto thinking Orochimaru got away, or acting like he think he does, sees Orochimaru dive down to bite his neck. Naruto allows this to happen. Orochimaru actually broke one of his teeth biting him and said, this damn bright teeth are hard. His skin is hard as steel, but I still punctured it. Now the place my curse him up. Naruto grabs Orochimaru by his neck. As he lets Orochimaru's chakra just flood into him from the spike. More, more. Orochimaru is saying, damn it, I'm not putting Chakra into him, he's draining it from me. He tries getting away, he tries tearing Naruto's heart out, every little thing he can. Nothing's affecting Naruto. Orochimaru then realises this brat was holding back this entire time. Finally, the dark, manipulative energy that Orochimaru didn't even know he had. He gets absorbed into Naruto, and he rips he rips Orochimaru away. Unlike Zabaza, well, similar to Zabaza, Orochimaru was influenced by this, but... He had no regrets, he enjoyed what he did. He's still gonna be evil. But he could feel that something was different within him. His chakra was more balanced. But before he could say anything, Naruto appeared in front of him with a weird purple flame in his hand. Orochimaru recognized it as a sealing jutsu and he impels his chest. Naruto seals Orochimaru into a scroll and hides it for later. And then it absorbs the dark energy. Of course, with more experience now, he absorbs it with no problem. And he figures out the ability, and he says, Huh. This is exactly what I was expecting. From that man, at least. Someone who loves causing pain to others. Of course, Naruto finishes this exam. We finally got onto the thing we've all been waiting for. First, the first exam is... Neji versus Hinata. And this goes similar to canon, but Nebuko says to Naruto, Huh, that girl, I can sense that she has feelings for you. And Kuruma chimes in, says, Don't spoil the fun, I've been wanting to tell him, but I want him to figure it out. He's going to be a hopeless, hopeless romance. Hearing this, Naruto actually blushes and says, Huh, Hinata has feelings for me, huh? I did have a little thing for her back then, but I just thought it one way. She always seemed so close to Kiba. And when he fought with Kiba, Naruto got pissed. That's when he's watching it. He realises that Neji's going way too hard on Hinata. He's he's trying to kill her. He could sense his faults. The lower branch family over t- over, overcoming the top. And then as he was about to throw the final blow, Naruto got in the way, blocking his blow with his body. This catches Neji, Neji off guard as his fingers that he was going to use the final p- pressure point on is now hurting. Naruto pouring out with merge and ten. Minato who was watching this attempted to step in. But Naruto looked at him and he got blown away by an unseen force. Of course Naruto used his running gun. He places his hat, he places his hat here, he places his, he focused on Neji. And he manipulated Neji's thoughts using the first type of dark energy he stole. To make Neji, t- Neji go out of control and attack him. This plan was just so it would be more reasonable when Naruto beats the shit out of him in the exam. Neji throws a punch at Naruto. Naruto didn't do anything for what everyone else sees. And Naruto dodges and yanks him forward, grabbing him by his throat. And he suddenly releases the dark energy. Neji says, wait, wait, wait. Naruto, who is now choking him, says, You attack me again. You go to hurt Hinata again. And I don't care about your clan. I will end your clan myself. Most importantly, 
If you're so scared about that mark in your forehead, I'll rip it off for you, and then I'll rip your throat out. He drops and returns to the stand. We then get Naruto versus Kiba. And before Na- Kiba can do anything, Naruto embarrasses him. Without any hand signs, he surrounds his hand on electricity and surges in and sends a light in the ball at Kiba, who's now in Fango of Fang. A Kiba drops down to the ground. Arug- Akuramaru is completely fine. Naruto likes dogs. But Kiba, who's now electrocuted, he stands up saying, I will not lose. He shows Naruto to appear in front of him and bitch slap him. Then again, then again, then again, then again, then again. So Kiba gives up. And finally, Neji versus Naruto is announced, along with Sasuke versus Lee. And we're never going to be able to read the next part. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm sorry, right now. Other than that, guys, if you want to see the next part, make sure you comment down below, like, subscribe, go join the Discord, check out the thumbnail maker, and enjoy, guys. Peace!